STEM Share Virtual Reality Kit um, at Grace Dane's High School to create a new space for both staff and students. So we have an existing space and there was an opportunity um, for it to be remodelled. So um, virtual reality is completely new um, to us at Grace Dane's High School and I saw an opportunity to um, have teachers explore it as well as have students really uh, engage in that project and also have um, an input into um, this study room which will be theirs essentially next year. I took this project uh, to our, one of our IST teachers. Uh, we looked through the program to see if there was anywhere that we could put um, the virtual reality into and we saw that it actually fit really nicely and replaced one of our existing programs. I was super excited. I was super excited when I found out that we were going to be doing VR in my IST class. I was so stoked. I was like, this is amazing. I can't wait to do this project. To build my own little room for the, for the library is completely astonishing. I loved it so much. Uh, so before this project, I've had little experience with VR. I've done it like a little bit in like university open days and seen like its applications in like for real world use, but I haven't used it for personal use. Okay, so in year eight, I was a part of an ABCN program. So we went to a, um, a company in the city which um, taught us skills like um, math skills, technology skills, science skills, and engineering skills. So we went to a section. Um, so they were creating a. Um, um, virtual reality game with um, Fruit Ninjas, so we got a chance to use virtual reality and play Fruit Ninjas um, at that point of time in your age. I actually own one right now at my home, and it has helped me, well I only use it to play games, but it has helped me to develop this project continuously at home and at school at the same time. Yeah, like before this project, like in year 9, once we had a bit of a glimpse into it, because for geography we had to make a design of a landscape for a future city. So, but we didn't use SketchUp, we used another platform, but it didn't work out very well, so we just did it on paper. So I had, we had a bit of an experience before that. Because I have a, um, a VR at home on my PlayStation, and I, I'm absolutely in love with it. Like, I play a lot of my games on it. And it's just, it's really good. And like, I stepped into this project and I, would, like, I knew what was going on straight away. So before I used uh, the Wii R for the school purposes, I actually just used it to play games such as the PlayStation and the Xbox. But I actually haven't used it to do anything with educational resources or purposes. So uh, when I used Wii R for my SketchUp project, it was actually my first time using it. Well, I have a augmented reality headset at home, the Lenovo Star Wars one, so I got that for Christmas, or was it Christmas? I think, yeah, Christmas last year, I believe. Otherwise, I've used, gone to my friend's house and used theirs, my uncle's got one. Okay, so this is the existing uh, library office space, and you can see it's quite a big space. It houses uh, four library staff. Um, the kids were told that um, this room needed to be divided into two. Um, the sink, for WHS reasons, needed to be in the teacher space and it could not be moved. Um, and then the rest was up to them. So they came into the space, they measured it, um, they measured length, width, height, um, and then they needed to go into SketchUp and create that to scale. You know, the, the, the one, look at the wide one in the center, right? Yeah. They can even hook their own, uh, you know, laptop and they can do like two screens at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So when using SketchUp, you can only see a project at one perspective at a time, instead of seeing multiple perspectives. Uh, with VR, you can also see it like firsthand and see uh, how useful it will be. So say for example, you have like a tabletop. When you're in VR, you can see how high it is relative to uh, your position. So, yeah. the, the use of the VR actually helped us to see how tall or like how far off we were, the measurements and all the other equipment we created. So we created the computers and we thought they were the perfect size, but when we actually took a view of them through the VR, they weren't the right size. So they were either a bit tiny or either a bit big. Same things with the sinks and the table around that we created, which were which we thought were right, but they weren't actually, they were way far off than being right. You can do it on the computer screen, but you just don't feel like attached and connected to it. And as well, you don't exactly know if it's accurate or not. As in the headset, you'll know if everything's exactly 
accurate because again it's a life-size view of everything. Good afternoon everyone. Thank you for taking your time to be here this afternoon. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, the Doric people, where this meeting, in which this meeting is taking place. I'd like to pay respect to Elders past, present and emerging and extend that respect to, all, to any other Aboriginal people present. Imagine a study space where students learn and improve their skills. Imagine a room where teachers can get work done efficiently and effectively. If you choose our design, you won't have to imagine. Good afternoon, Mr. Spark, deputies, um, <laughs> executive and library staff and special guests. Good evening, Mr. Spark, executives and special guests. This, I, this is Vikram and I'm Jaden and we're the representatives of our group. Hello, teacher executives and our guests today. So today we're going to be showing you our eight week long project of our, of our VR project. Oh, it goes outside. Okay. Shelves. Yeah. No, don't tell about it. I've got to look after it. <laughs> Where is that? Like? Oh, this yeah. is a shelf. That's your printer and your. Yeah, that's exciting. Wait, I'm in one room. I want to go to yeah, the other room. room. Just over here, I can go over there. Yeah. Right. Okay, so this is the data projector, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So would a data projector be better than one of those TVs that actually does the same functions as a data projector? Yeah, we, we thought that they can use like the, do you know how they have the pens that work on the whiteboards? We can use those and they can edit and then while... Okay. Go to the, don't click on the fantastic. wall, Fantastic. Yeah, I know. Fantastic. So there's there, that's there. All right. To see this, I suppose, the project at the start where students, you know, came in, were new to VR, had to understand the concept of using Google SketchUp but then apply it to a real situation at the school has allowed the students to um, go beyond their capabilities they obviously thought they had. It's really a fantastic technology in terms of um, uh, the way you guys are actually, the, the, the students have actually planned their architecture in reality, actually looking at the scaling of it as well, because when you go and look at the VR and you go into the, into the tutorial room and to the student room, it's actually able to see how they actually move and how they did the design. Um, I know it's, it's all been done from scratch, which is fantastic in terms of looking at the quality of, of the equipment they've used and in terms of actually looking at the dimensions as well. Thinking about the science aspect in, in, in as well and taking all that into consideration was really, really great because I'm a science teacher, but that's actually fantastic. Um, I like the fact that you can actually go and teleport yourself in and you can actually see, so it's actually real in the sense that we're actually seeing, not actually on paper. So you're actually imagining yourself in the, in the room. So uh, in terms of the quality, fantastic. I guess from looking at the plans, you can actually appreciate how much detail is actually gone into the design. Um, looking at it on paper, because it's all to scale, you can actually move in the environment and see how much space there is in reality, whereas on the paper you, you can see it, but you can actually experience it when you have the VR headset on. Um, I just found it amazing to actually move throughout the space, um, as opposed, and it had such an impact on me more than looking at the design, like I could make some judgments on it, but actually now, having experienced it and moving throughout the space there, I can actually feel my critique or my feedback would be more worthwhile and more productive and real real world. For us, the kitchen, the table was, um, was it really low? Yeah, it was, it was really like low. up to our knees mm -hmm. and so we had to increase the height to make it because yeah, the computer makes it look yeah. different from what yeah. the VR makes it look like. So yeah. it took a lot of going in and out, and out, yeah. And yeah. out to, to, to get it right. So did you end up with the, the product that you were really happy with? Yes. Yes. Yeah, no. yeah. So this group, for example, spelled ages, like hours, you know, weeks on the carpet design. They went into the VR and then they decided it was too distracting and then out it went. Yes, they had a, a, a very detailed couch yes. with cushions and then they thought, yeah, you know, it's, it's a bit clunky, it's in yep. the way of the smart board and they got rid of it. So I don't know how willing students would be to do that on paper. So if they'd drawn it on paper, would they be willing to throw designs out completely and say, oh, or would they be more willing to say, in, you know, in my experience, students usually say, oh, it'll be right there, yep. to see how that goes. I, I don't know whether you'd realise, there's teachers trialling new things and, and putting in place technology that you're not familiar with requires teachers to take a risk and to actually 
you know, be prepared to fail. Because sometimes technology fails. It doesn't always turn out the way that you plan. And I think when Miss Lamb came and spoke to me about this first start, nobody realised where it was going to go, what it was going to produce, and the absolute quality of your work today. That, that is amazing. It is really amazing what you've been able to produce. So for the teachers who are considering to use the VR in their classroom, I would say it's a great idea. It'll, it will engage a lot of students and I'm pretty sure they're going to have a lot of fun using it during their studies and to do various things such as make sketchups and experience how the space they created looks and even maybe you can give them a free time and they can play games with it in classroom as a reward but it's a really really great experience for me to use the VR and I had a fabulous time using it. One piece of advice would be to know how to use the soft, like hard software and hardware yourself instead of like relying on like one or two people who've had beforehand experience to know what they're doing uh, so you can teach the entire class better. I would say to do the background research because I found that other people I know, but when I use or they use my headset, they tend to walk into things sometimes. And I'm like, God, why? It's like I wish there was like a boundary, like tape around you, so you couldn't move within this like two meter radius. So I just say, just make sure they don't run into things with the headset. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get a new one. That sucks. Um, just make sure you know what you're doing, you're not holding the controllers backwards, left to right, right to left type thing, and you know how to actually use it. I'd say at first it's going to be pretty daunting for a teacher to just slap on a headset and a computer and just go in without any worries, but legit, when you get into it first and you study around with it, just play around with it for a bit, it gets a whole lot easier for it. So I do advise that teachers do use VR for their future classes because it will help out and get the uh, students involved with the teacher as well. I think the classroom teacher will be learning along the way as well because again Mr. Zarkovich as you're saying maybe might be a novice but he was leading the way. It's like as he's learning he can learn new things and teach us new things and like we can attain those skills and he can attain more skills. So the role of a teacher may not just be teaching, it could be learning new things to help us as well. It's an easy to install process. It's easy. You can't. You see what the person is seeing. So you, you see them mucking around. You can take it off. Pretty much, the teacher is in power at all times. So um, our IST teacher, Mr. Zarkovich, had allocated separate times for each group. So when it came to my group, maybe like three to four minutes, like analyzing everything that we needed to fix. So I think Mr. Zarkovich was one of the main reasons why everything was in order. So we each got two minutes or three minutes to review the place and uh, give comments to each other and to spot all the mistakes and we took, down, we took down notes if we spotted any mistakes and the group was pretty helpful as well that if one person's trying the we are then we would tell them where to go and where to not go in case there was something in front of them so that they were safe. It's the best thing they'll have to try in their class and they should because it's like really fun you get to learn lots of new things and remember them, that's the important bit. So like, what you teach will stay in this, with them forever. I also am going to announce the winning design now. And the winning design is design number three, which is Declan Davis. Yeah. <laughs> Multi-talented, well done, sir. Darcy Jones. Ah, oh, look at that, he's overwhelmed. Is that really me? Fantastic. <laughs> Lorenzo Sevilla. Good man, that's congratulations. Alvin Sharma. Good on you, well done, sir.